In this video, I am going to be making a multiplayer FPS game all in one month. The game will be about people in an airsoft arena fighting each other with real guns instead of airsoft guns. At the end of this video, the game will look like this. There will be explosions, bullets, intense gameplay, snipers, and so much more. So let's see how I went from this to this. So I started off by doing some research on how to make a multiplayer game. But after hours of researching, I could only find tutorials on how to do multiplayer using Photon and Netcode. And wait, who's this? And that's how I found this great tutorial series on how to connect Unity clients to a dedicated server by Tom Wyland. There is a link in the description if you want to check it out. And after three days of following the tutorial series, I now have two players connected to the server that can walk around and throw balls at each other. But the players are literally just capsules running around which looks pretty stupid. But before I change the player model, the game still needs a name, but I will tell you that later. Anyways, I made this beautiful player model using Blender. Okay, I rigged him up and animated him using Mixamo, and as you can see, everything works fine and it looks super natural. Okay, maybe not. So I made the player actually hold the gun using inverse kinematics. I found this great tutorial by Ditzel Games that explains everything. Link down below. I also only made the head rotate towards where the player is looking instead of his entire upper body. And after a couple hours of pain and tweaking the animations, this is what it looks like in action. Oh, and I also made the player turn into a ragdoll when they die. After that, I added client prediction and lag compensation, which is extremely important for multiplayer FPS games, because sometimes when you hit an enemy, nothing happens, because the enemy's position is outdated and stuff. But I won't bore you with all the details. So I got to work, and after days of coding and more pain, it finally works. Thanks to this video right here by Ajaxter on how to implement client prediction. So now that the basic multiplayer works, it is time to upgrade the graphics because the game looks like shit. So first, I created an assault rifle, which actually took me 10 hours to make. After that, I realized that I suck at 3D modeling, so I just went to Sketchfab and downloaded the rest of the gun models. Now the player has four guns to choose from. An assault rifle, pistol, rocket launcher, and a sniper. So the assault rifle can shoot very fast, but it doesn't do a lot of damage. The pistol, on the other hand, shoots a lot slower, but does double the damage. The rocket launcher, well, launches rockets, but they do 80 damage. And the sniper can only shoot once, but one hits people. It is also the only gun that you can aim with. Oh, and I also added some post-processing and baked lighting to hide the terrible gameplay and make my game look 10 times better than it actually is. The only thing missing now is, well, the map. So I got to work on making the airsoft arena. And after some time, the map is finished. It's not the best looking map ever, but it's good enough for now. Also, ChatGPT finally generated a good name. Um, I mean, I myself finally came up with a good name. Combat Chaos. And with all of this, we are ready to finally put Combat Chaos to the test. You can host your own server by simply downloading the server files and then typing in the IP address of the computer the server is running on. But don't worry, I have made a video that explains how to set everything up. You can find it on the download page of the game in the description down below. All I have to do now is to, well, invite my friend to play a match of Combat Chaos. So, we both typed in the IP address and joined the game. And as you can probably tell, I added a lot more things such as sound effects, a main menu, and made the game feel better to play. Now the game is still not that good, but considering that this is my first try making a multiplayer game, it is pretty decent, I guess. And me and my friends still had a lot of fun playing it. I will probably not be working a lot more on this game, 
because I am just terrible at making multiplayer games, and I enjoy making single-player games a lot more, unless this video blows up. Again, you can download Combat Chaos for absolutely free on the itch.io page in the description. Thank you so much for watching and subscribe.